a straight line. The line in Euclidean geometry which passes through two points in such a way that the length of the segment between the points is a minimum or the straight line is a curve with constant slope. The equation of a line is an equation in x comma y which is satisfied by every point of the line. When parallel to x-axis, let L, this line, be a line parallel to x-axis at a distance of b units. We have a line that is parallel to x-axis and a distance b from the origin. Then, the equation of the line L is the locus of the point P, x, comma, y, and this one which moves such that it remains at a constant distance b units from the x-axis. y-coordinate of b is always equal to b. Therefore, the equation of the line L is equal to y is equal to b. When parallel to y-axis, let L be a line parallel to y-axis. And this is the line at a distance of A units from the origin up to L the distance is A then the equation of the line L is the locus of the point P X comma Y which moves such that it remains a constant or at a constant distance A units from the Y axis the X coordinates of P is always equal to A therefore x is equal to a and this is the equation of the line L. Point slope form. Suppose a line having slope m and passing through a given point x sub 1 comma y sub 1 if p x comma y is any other point on the line then the slope of the line is x1 y1 this is p1 and a point P, X, Y. We find the slope and the formula for slope is M is equals to Y minus Y1 or the difference between the first the point P and point P1 at a distance Y. So Y minus Y1 and we divide by the difference the X value for P and the value for P1 X or X minus x sub 1 from which y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1 and this is called point slope form for a linear equation slope intercept form suppose a line having slope m passing through a given point on the y axis having coordinates 0 comma b substituting 0 comma b in the point slope form of a linear equation y minus y1 is equals to m times x minus x1 and we obtain y minus b is equal to m times x minus x1 which is 0 and y is equals to mx plus b this equation is called slope intercept form where m is the slope of the line and b is the y intercept 0 comma b is the point along y axis where x is 0 and b is the y intercept and the equation is y is equals to mx plus b example find the equation of the line through 3 comma negative 6 perpendicular to the line joining 4 comma 1 and 2 comma 5 the point 4 comma 1 this is 4 comma 1 and 2 comma 5 2 positive 5 and this is the point that's 2 comma 5 and we connect the two points to form a line and this is line 1 a point that is perpendicular to the line of 4, 1, and 2, 5, so that's 3, negative 6, 3, and negative 6, and this is the point. This is 3, 
negative 6 and perpendicular to the line of L1 and we designate as L2 and we find the slope of line 1 at 4 comma 1 and 2 comma 5 that's m1 and we have 5 or the formula is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus minus x sub 1 and y sub 2 is 5 minus y sub 1 that's 1 all over x sub 2 that's 2 minus x sub 1 that's 4 and this is 4 uh, 5 minus 1 is 4 2 minus 4 is negative 2 and m1 is equals to negative 2 and m2 is perpendicular to line 1 or slope m2 is equals to negative 1 over m1 where m1 is negative 2 and m2 is equal to negative 1 all over m1 that's negative 2 and m2 is equals to 1 half using the equation of point slope form the equation y minus y1 is equals to m times x minus x1 at point 3 comma 6 with slope m2 which is 1 half we can find now the equation of the line and substitute y minus y sub 1 that's negative 6 is equal to m that's 1 half and x minus x1 and minus 3 and then we simplify y minus minus plus 6 is equals to 1 half of x minus 3 and cross multiply 2 times y plus 6 is equals to 1 times or x minus 3 and 2y plus 2 times 6 is 12 is equals to x minus 3 and simplify using the equation of the line and the equation of the line should be ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 and x transpose 2y to the other side that's negative 2y minus 3 and also 12 to another side that's negative 12 and equate that to 0 x minus 2y minus 3 minus 12 is plus minus 15 and equate that to 0 and this is the equation of the line that's L2. This is the final answer. Example. Reduce the equation to the slope intercept form and the line 3x plus 6y minus 2 is equal to 0. And we need to plot the line substituting the x value to 0 and y to 0 to find the value for x intercept and y intercept. If x is equal to 0 so that's 3 times 0 plus 6y minus 2 is equal to 0 and that's 0 6y transfer to the other side that's negative or positive 2 y is equal to 1 over 3 if y is equal to 0 so 3x plus 6 times 0 minus 2 is equal to 0 and this is 0 so that's 3x negative 2 to the other side that's positive 2 and x is equal to 2 over 3 and we have now the x intercept that's 2 third and y or y intercept that's 1 third and x is 2 third so we have 1 2 3 more or less this point this is 2 third while y is 1 third 
this is one third and we connect the x-intercept and y-intercept to form a line and this is the line which is the equation 3x plus 6y minus 2 is equal to 0 by using the slope intercept form formula y is equals to mx plus b and the equation of the line that's equation 1 we need to follow the format y is equals to m which is the slope x plus b which is y intercept the equation of the line that's 3x plus 6y minus 2 is equal to 0 and we transfer 3x and negative 2 to the other side the remaining value is 6y is equal to 3x is negative 3x negative 2 that's positive 2 and we divide everything by 6 and 6 over 6 that's 1 times y or y is equals to negative 3 over 6x plus 2 over 6 and y is equals to negative 1 half of x plus 2 over 6 that's 1 third and this is the equation of the slope and its form where m is equal to negative one half or the slope and the y intercept b that's one third example find the angle from the first line to the second we have the first line 2x plus 3y is equal to zero and second line 7x minus y is equal to four so let's plot the first and second line if if x is equal to 0 that's 2 times 0 plus 3y is equal to 0 or y is equal to 0 2x plus 3 times 0 is equal to 0 or x is also 0 at x is equal to 1 2 times 1 plus 3y is equal to 0 or 3y is equal to negative 2 and y is equal to negative 2 over 3 what if at x is equal to negative 1 so that's 2 negative 1 plus 3y is equal to 0 or 3y is equal to positive 2 transpose to the left or right side and y is equal to 2 over 3 so we have two points the first point is 1 negative 2 third and the second point is negative 1 and 2 third the intercepts they have at point 0 0 so first point that's 1 and negative 2 third 1 and negative 2 third below next y is equals to 2 over 3 or and x is negative 1 so negative 1 and positive 2 third and we form a line from two points and this is the first line or 2x plus 3y equals to 0 the second line if x is equal to 0 so 7 times 0 minus y equals to 4 that's y is equals to negative 4 if y is equal to 0 and 7x minus 0 is equal to 4 and x is equal to 4 over 7 so we have the points 0 negative 4 and the second point is 4 over 7 0 so the first point is 0 4 0 4 that's negative 4 for y and the second point is 4 over 7 4 7 is less than 1 and 0 and we form a line 
and this is the second line or 7x minus y equals to 4 and we designate this as line 2 and this one is line 1 which means we have slope m1 and line 2 we have slope m2 and we need to find the slope for line 1 and slope line 2 using the point slope form at line 1 2x plus 3y is equal to 0 and 3y is equal to negative 2x and we divide everything by 3 so that's y equals to negative 2 over 3 therefore m1 of line 1 and that's negative 2 over 3 while at line 2 and the equation is 7x minus y is equal to 4 and transpose negative y to other side so that's y positive and remain 7x and transpose 4 to the left side that's negative 4 and we have slope m2 that's positive 7 so we have m1 that's negative 2 third and m2 is equal to 7 using the angle between two lines that's m is equals to m2 minus m1 all over 1 plus m1 m2 where m1 we have negative 2 third and m2 that's 7 and equate that to 7 minus negative 2 third all over 1 plus m1 that's negative 2 third and m2 that's 7 and we simplify the least common denominator for the numerator that's 3 3 times 7 that's 21 negative times negative 2 that's positive 2 and we divide by the least common denominator for the denominator that's 3 and 3 times 1 that's 3 plus minus times 2 times 7 that's negative 14 and 21 plus 2 that's 23 over 3 and reciprocal of the denominator that's 3 all over 3 minus 14 that's negative 11 and cancel out 3 over 3 and the value that's negative 23 over 11 and this is the tangent theta where m m is equals to tangent theta and we have the value